Okay, we start with a white canvas and then we fill it with black. Then we're going to look for a nebula brush, which is the default brush by Procreate. Start with white and basically create the shape that we want. I usually go with like two semicircles. And um, then we create new layers for every color, or we try to create new layers for every color because it's a little bit easier in case we want to change the opacity of a color later on. So as you can see, I chose some dark blue now, and I'm going around the edges of the white to darken it a bit. Next, I'm going with some pink, and I'm basically just layering this on top, going over the edges of the colors before and adding a little bit more around the dark areas of the image. Then next color is a yellow and you absolutely need some vibrant colors in there because right now it isn't really looking like nebula. And we go over with a little bit of green, use it a little bit sparingly in comparison to what um, we did with the blue. Now just add a light blue. And our basic nebula is done, but it doesn't really look like one right now because we haven't had any stars yet. So now I'm creating a new layer again and putting it behind all of our nebula layers and I'm choosing the micro glitter brush which you can download from my website it's free and I'm really just going over there and it is quite dark so I'm just lowering the opacity and then I'm going to create another star layer um, above the nebula and lowering the opacity again but first I'm going to change the layer mode to add which will just add a slight um, shadow around it, basically. Now I'm just going to go over it with the nebula brush and a little bit of black because I felt like it was a little bit too bright. This will just darken it a little bit. Now to finish it off, you really want to take some time and go in and add some stars, which is basically just drawing dots with the light brush. I um, just decreased the size of it immensely. And then I'm just really dotting it on, varying my pressure so that we get different um, in opacity and size. I'm adding some um, little crosses as well, but uh, use them sparingly as well. And I'm going to create two layers of these. One of them is going to be a little bit um, lower in opacity, and then I'm and a little bit more crowded, and then I'm going to create a second layer and add some stars, but less than before, and I'm going to keep them at the full opacity. I'm going to change the layer mode of those to add as well to make it pop a little bit more. And then your basic nebula is done and uh, you can use it as a lettering background or just do whatever you want with it. 